من تقاك ومن حيائك يهطل المعروف جودا من يديك ومن سخائك فزت بالنورين فضلا أي سر في ضيائك يا صحابيا جليلا تستحي منك الملائك رافدا الإسلام نورك سابق فيه مهاجر كان يا عثمان ذو خرك كل طائقة يبادر ورسول الله يدعو لك يهديك البشائر أترى كم شع نورا وسرورا لمعنى موسيقى <laughs> now for guys those are the views that I've been in since the beginning of the year you guys know that I find it so awkward saying I'm a medical student and funny enough now that exams have finished wallahi I just can't believe that the whole year has actually gone by in the space of what feels like a couple of weeks and it reminds me of the ayah where Allah says كم لبثتم في الأرض عدد سنين قالوا لبثنا يوما أو بعض يوم that when people in the afterlife are asked how long did they live on the earth they'd say that a day or maybe a bit of a day and wallahi I'm just so so grateful and many a times other verses are used by brother Shamsi on speaker's corner where he says that if you try to enumerate the favors of Allah upon you you would not be able to put a number on it and after learning the importance of the trochlear nerve and the ocular motor nerve and the complexity of the eye from its multi layers and the drainage system to the process possible for glaucoma formation and that of which allows for cataracts to take place wallahi I am so so grateful for just having the mere eyesight to be able to see and then the days that I used to watch speaker's corner one analogy that just hit the nail in the head is this one now let's just say I'm a billionaire and I decide to give you 20 million would you not be gassed every time you spend the money you'll remember it was Cringista who gave me 20 million to buy a house or to buy a car to get married to a beautiful woman to facilitate khair for your daughter's husband so so on and so forth but now this time I decide to give you 50 million but I put a condition on me giving you this money I say that in exchange for me giving you 50 million you give me your two eyes would you ever agree to such a transaction of course not, but what's the reason? Because to you, your eyes are worth more than 50 million, 100 million, 200 million. So why don't we try to thank the one who gave us eyes for free? And so many of us have thought, oh, we will show gratefulness in a capacity that befits us. But that's incorrect, because if it's your mother's birthday, and I know as a Muslim we don't celebrate birthdays, but just bear in mind, if it is your mother's birthday and you want to give her a gift, are you going to give her a gift that she wants or a gift that you want? A gift that she wants, right? So why is it not the case that we give God what he wants, not what we want? And guys, a lot of you know, what is a Kunjista video without the mention of marriage and you know well I have mentioned it so many times and the sad reality of trying to find this so-called soulmate wallah is just so difficult <laughs> So many times that I feel like I found this right person and something happens and Wallahi just the of it is so, so much man I understand the hadith of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam where he says لا يفرق مؤمن مؤمنة إن كرح منها خلقا راضي منها آخر Where the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that a believing man does not despise a believing woman so much so that if he finds something in her, a character defect that he dislikes he will be pleased by something else And you guys know that I tried to be on a sunnah so obviously the reference is going to be that of 
uh, which Sahih, but that's in Sahih Muslim, as you probably see on screen. And after somewhat finishing Metin Abi Shuja in the Berber's Zawaj and the chapter of marriage with Yasin Munya, a friend of Da'am Man and my uncle Abu Taymiyyah, I was honestly thinking that soon is going to be the day that I got married, but Wallahi, wa yamkuruna wa yamkurullah, wallahu khayru al they plan and Allah plans and Allah is the best of planners. Every day with my fluctuating iman on the aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, well, at least we try it. No matter what afflicts me, wallahi I try my best to be content. And no man, no woman's gonna be catching me crying on camera, but wallahi the feeling after what's recently happened, man, it's just so rough, man. <laughs> Honestly, it's just so peak. And so my aims of marrying the wududa and wuluda have become small in my eyes, but I don't lose hope in that mercy of Allah. And 100% I do feel like giving up, but may Allah send the dangerous one this direction. I mean. And so many times I think to myself, how can I deny that the one that's positioned and developed my cranial nerves from their positioning on the brainstem to systems permitting conscious proprioception and the functioning of the corticospinal tracts, spinothalamic tracts, spinocerebellar tracts, and half of which a lot of us are not even going to know, but they do work within us, and the positioning of the brachial lumbar sacral plexi the one that's allowed us to have the ability to take care of ourselves and our family and how have I lost hope in the one that's given me everything that I have and so I remember that how am I denying the one that has the mafatih al ghayb and the junood al samawati wal ard Allah is just so deep man oh fuck I still have hope in it. Innama ashku ba'thi wa husni ila Allah. And the ayah in Surah Mulk honestly just hits home. But Allah says, Ala ya'lamu man khalaq wa huwa al-latif al-khabir. That doesn't Allah know the one that he's created. And so I leave it up to Allah, man. And for me, there's nothing better than watching a video of Muhammad Hoblos. Uh, you know, switch it up. Wallah, he just switches it. He gets so angry. <laughs> Man, wow, that's buns, wallahi man, it's craziness. Um, nonetheless though, after this, uh, this is going to be Quran and then we'll wrap up the video inshallah. So guys, my first exam, alhamdulillah, finished. So wallahi, I haven't worked out in so long as well. And the Anashid is banging, Allahumma barik. Wait for the crazy note that he's going to do now, one second. Wait for it, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. After this. Damn. You become so shallow that now because you got a nice beard, uh, you wear a nice white abaya, Allahu Akbar, this guy's pumped. So there's the opposite. There's the guy who, mashallah, he's been on deen for a couple of years. He starts believing in his heart, whether we're honest or not tonight. Wallahi, in the depths of our hearts, in places, in places that we don't talk about, Wallahi, we start believing that I'm something. We start looking down at others. We start believing that deep down in my heart, I stand a level above the rest. That I've got a nice beard and this brother's clean shaven. That I've been praying for the last 10 years, this guy still doesn't know how to make wudu. So therefore, I'm better than him. And he starts believing also, it gets worse. He also starts believing that Allah Azza wa needs him. That Allah needs his salah. That Allah needs his charity. That Allah needs my tasbih. And there's an attitude. Wallahi, there's an attitude. One of us, as he's walking out of the masjid, maybe he puts $50 into the donation box. And in the depths of his heart, Wallahi, in places we don't talk about, you really truly believe that Allah owes you a favor. That Allah owes me something, man. That I've been praying for the last 10 years. So therefore, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He owes me something. But my brothers, today I've got news for both sides. Allah owes you nothing. Allah owes you nothing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your salah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your fasting. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your money. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your time. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your da'wah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala doesn't need your deed. Allah Azza wa Jal is free from all, from anything. Allah Azza wa Jal needs nothing and no one. We need Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Don't be fooled. Don't let shaitan play with your mind. That look at you, mashaAllah. You've been on deen. You're a cut above the rest. You're nothing. That being said, a lot of the people that are going to be watching this are uni students. And so some of the advice that I give 
on how to, for example, raise that of the amount that's relevant to pay off your uni fee are in my books, my ebooks, and inshallah ta'ala, you would be able to check at the bottom of today's video. Now, I do have three books. Now, the first ebook has that of the job that I do, as well as the payment plan, how to pay it, how many hours that you should be working, so on and so forth. So, you'll be able to roughly calculate how much you need. That's a whole separate topic. Now, there's book number two, which is the almost the business side to it. So, for example, how to find clients, whether that be for tuition, cookie baking or whatever, henna, calligraphy, so on and so forth. That's the one for you as well as the free marketing. So wallahi, I don't know how much money that would save you to just go on it. And if you guys think I'm like charging five pound, six pound, seven pound, 15 pound, you guys are dreaming. Remember a lot of you guys are uni students and I know that a lot of you guys are broke. Just make sure that once you make some serious money, you just give some back to me, inshallah. You know what I'm saying? And now book number three is almost the book that will give you the long-term solution into how to make money in the long-term, inshallah ta'ala. And that will also have that of a Telegram link, which is definitely something to go get. The reason why I'm saying that is because I will send jobs on there. A lot of people I've given jobs to from my close friends, uh, like sending links to that to family. So inshallah ta'ala, I think that I will be able to do that on the large scale. It's just a send on a Telegram group. So inshallah, with that being said, may Allah bless you. And that being said, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace. Mm -hmm.